Presidential candidate Grace Poe said she would be sleeping well on election night. She fought a clean and fair campaign, she said, and had no regrets. But within hours of polls closing and initial results coming in, she knew she would not be the winner. I am giving way to Rodrigo Duterte, who is clearly leading in the current counting and has been chosen by many of our fellow citizens. I respect the results of our elections. I congratulate Mayor Duterte and I promise to unite in healing our country. A first-time Senator, Poe was the leading candidate until controversial Mayor Rodrigo Duterte belatedly joined the race. His straight talk and brash manner won over voters, hungry for what they saw as an authentic politician. Many Filipinos had grown frustrated and angry after six years under President Benigno Aquino. They were years of broad economic growth, but that prosperity didn't trickle down fast enough. And Aquino and his administration were criticized as too elite, too impersonal, and out of touch. The ruling party's candidate, Ma Rojas, is far behind Duterte. But he and two other candidates for president have yet to concede. It's been an acrimonious and divisive campaign. Duterte and Poe now call on all Filipinos to work together and heal. Despite Duterte's clear lead, many Filipinos are concerned that his style of governance could bring the country back under a dictatorship. Democracy was only restored here 30 years ago after an uprising against the strongman Ferdinand Marcos. But the Marcoses, too, are in the lead in their own categories. The late dictator son Bongbong could very well be the next vice president. His sister Aimi has won as governor of their home province. And their 86-year-old mother Imelda has again run for Congress. All President Aquino's best laid plans aside, those that wanted a continuation of his reforms, wonder what went so wrong that after a relatively successful administration, so many voters would want such a radical change. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.